What's up, everybody? Eddie here. Welcome back to my damn channel. Now, this is going to be a quick one. Uh, I've been with Xfinity Mobile for about six months now, going on seven, and they finally caught up to me. By that, I mean I moved, and the area I live in now, I don't have, or they don't offer Comcast Xfinity in the area. So now, as you know, you need to have a Comcast account active in order to start up an Xfinity account. So you need to have home phone or home internet or home TV in order to have or start Xfinity Mobile. But you don't need to keep your Comcast to, keep, to hold on to your Xfinity. So I moved. And the area I'm in now does not offer Comcast at all. There is no Comcast in this area or nearby areas. The closest Xfinity store is almost two hours away from me now. So, they told me in the beginning, which is one of the reasons I made a video about why I left. And one of the reasons was because it was going to jump up to an, a crazy amount of money plus the phone or whatnot. But, of course, dealing with Comcast, you do get a lot of misinformation. Um, they're trying to help, I guess, or they're going based off of what they know or what they think they know or what they heard. That's the issue with Comcast. They have, and still have, shitty, shitty customer service. But, but, uh, the service, the Xfinity, ser Xfinity mobile service running off of or piggybacking off of Verizon is freaking great to begin with so that being said it's only a ten dollar increase per line that's right only ten dollars so if you're paying unlimited the unlimited was 45 dollars it is now 55 if you do not if you no longer have comcast uh home services obviously and if you're playing if you're paying by the gig it becomes 22 versus 12 now, the paying by the gig is no longer beneficial if you are paying by the gig and no longer have Comcast. I would recommend switching to, to Unlimited for 55 I mean, you can't beat that either way. Still relatively cheap. But here's a big one that they just implemented, and I don't know how you feel about this. It really hasn't bugged me at all, is they will be limiting... Um, what is it? The quality of your stream. So if you're at work and you're not on Wi-Fi and you're using data on your phone, it will be DVD quality. I think that's 480p. Now, if you connect to Wi-Fi, you can get full 4K, full 1080p, 720, whatever your, whatever your, your sweet spot is on Wi-Fi. Great. But if you're on the network, na uh, native will be 480p. I think they are going to offer an, an option where you can pay a little bit more to have at least 1080p. I'm not sure yet, but that's what I've heard. And I, I actually, actually, I don't even know if they've implemented that yet. I've just got the email about a week ago. About a week ago. Anyways, so there you go. There you have it, folks. That's just a quickie. This is something that came to my mind because I know a lot of people might not know or they might be getting misinformation from the internet or <laughs> unfortunately reps from comcast this has been eddie here thanks for freaking listening you're freaking dope all right peace out everybody